face no more. Mass hips to the face no more. Had purchased a straight dead, they're out of court. Switch whips hit Lake Shore. Seen what happened to that boy, I had to pour four. Deuces wasn't doing shit for me no more, I had to pour four. Sodas and juices wasn't doing shit for me no more, I had to pour bro. That shit get the best of me and I be rational. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the tempo inside of Pro Tools, okay? The reasons why you want to do this is because you can automatically set the timing for your delays if your delay has the feature where it locks in by beats per minute or BPM. And also, it makes moving hooks or other repetitive parts of the song easy to move within the bars and beats grid, which is right here in grid that's already set up. When you lock it into the bars and beats grid, you can also stutter it in the correct timing and change the value of the note to where the grid locks in and then you can just edit and chop up stuff accordingly um, however you see fit depending on how the song is so what i'm gonna do is just go through this really quick and then walk you step by step on how i do it all right so i put in slip mode and let's go count bars in my head two Three, four, five. Clip seventy seven. All right, hit this little guy, change it to seventy seven, and boom, I'm done. All right, so what I could do is just uh, if I need to just copy over the hook and eyeball it, command duplicate. And that's how I do it really quick, right? So what I'm gonna do is walk through it really slow so you can see exactly what I did. Alright, so here we go. What I do is find the kick, the first downbeat bar of the kick, which is right here, and clip it. Select it, select the section, hit command E or control E on your PC, zoom out, count four bars, three, four, and cut again. Command E, zoom out, select this, hit command I or control I on your PC, select the location and the start location at one and the end location at five now why did i put five i have several questions the reason why is because you want four full bars of the section so it will cut it and find the tempo the correct way if you put the start location at one and the end location at four the math of it is is that it only counts as three full bars. You get what I'm saying? So the end of the fourth bar is the start of the fifth bar. I get it. I don't get it. Click OK. And then it says 77. I hit this little guy, this metronome guy, and change it to 77. All right. So, and there's another way to do it to where you can put it up as eight full bars, depending on how you count your bars TV's in the dweller, look like I hit that bitch with some water. this is eight full bars start location one in location is nine for eight full bars click OK and it says one five four point zero 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 one I cut it perfectly the first time so usually there's some small little decibel numbers that are a bit annoying so what I do is just click the little guy and change it to 154 or I need to change it to 77 and leave it at that. I don't move this manual tempo over here. It's because when I do, it's a gap right here and it just is not really needed. So leave it right there and then that's it. That's the easiest way to find the tempo. So what I, what I said is that you can change the grid and uh, do some chops like this. Um, here we go. I'm just doing this as a reference. All right. This, 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 this got me. Now it's not perfect. It's not where I would chop it at, but you get the point of why you would want to find the tempo. And then also if you are needing to 
have your delay set at one fourth tempo or one eighth is how it's usually set. Then it just makes it easier for your delays to be set and you don't have to go and manually figure out, oh, this the, the timing of the delay and stuff like that. So hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one. Son of a bitch.